Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just gonna get ready with you guys and talk because I haven't done that in a while and I thought it might be fun. Let's zoom in and I'll get started on the eyes. Yeah, my hair is rough, but what's new, honestly? And I already did my eyebrows. I used the uh, same thing I always use. The Anastasia Brow Wiz in Ebony and then the Essence Brow Gel Clear. And um, I have this atrocious spot on my nose because I'm a picker. I did this look yesterday, except for I'm gonna add liner to it. I'm just gonna actually use tape, which I like never do. Feels dangerously close to my eye. I'm really, really bad at liner and I just don't want to mess up the look. So I've been gone for a while because I was working on this project that I mentioned in a vlog. You probably noticed that um, it hasn't shown up at all. I'm gonna prime my eyes with the Tarte Shape Tape. Now I'm just gonna take a bone colored shadow and set my eyelids. The project that I had going on, I joined Tinder. I specifically joined it to make a video. I'm gonna take the Element of Surprise palette by ColourPop. Joined Tinder and I was gonna make a video about my experience with it. I paid for it and everything. Did the Tinder Gold or was it Plus? I don't remember, there's two levels. I didn't do the most expensive one just because like there was only one more element to it. Did a lot of vlogging about it and did a lot of screen recording and stuff on my phone for it. Like I was just gonna talk about it and then insert the screen recordings and everything in there. I just felt like I didn't want to come across like I was just putting people on blast. I guess like it's easy to say too, like, well maybe if they weren't shitty, you wouldn't have to worry about not putting them on blast, which is true, but also there's two sides to every story. I just didn't want to go online and just be like, hey, here's a bunch of people you don't know and I'm gonna make fun of them. I would never just make fun of them. Everything that I'm gonna tell you is complete truth. When I first got on there, I wasn't like trying to make dates like with people, you know what I'm saying? The first like week or so of me having it was just me talking to people pointlessly. I was just like afraid to meet up with people at first just because like stranger danger, like I grew up, everyone was like, don't give people on the internet your information at all. And now you literally <laughs> meet up with people on the internet. Times have changed, but I just think it's kind of funny. Go into the Zodiac palette. I'm gonna use the Cancer. And I realized that it was making the whole thing pointless. So then my goal was to go on dates. And then I did, I went on, how many first dates did I go on? I think I actually only went on five. No, no, no. Six. Altogether, I went on six first dates. A lot of other dates were planned, but um, people bail. Personally, I think that's rude, but I think it's because, you know, you are on the internet, so it's easy to just like dehumanize these people because they're just a profile on Tinder when you first see them. A lot of people were like, people just get on there to hook up and blah, 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 which on a level that is true. People do get on there to hook up. I mean, if that's what you're on there for, that's totally fine. You just in my opinion, you need to be upfront about that so that you don't waste other people's times that are actually like trying to date people. And some people will be straightforward with you and like message you and the first thing is like, you wanna hook up or are you here for hookups? I respect those people way more than the people pretend that they wanna date you and then they don't. I'm gonna try to do this liquid liner. This is the NYX matte liquid liner. I'm gonna try, but honestly, I may not be able to talk during it cause I'm really bad at it, so. Okay, so 45 years later, I think I'm done with the eyeliner. I'm gonna take this tape off. It actually helped a lot. There's no planet in which they are even. I actually went on dates and stuff that I enjoyed and like met really nice people. It's really cool to make connections that you would never otherwise meet. It was a really cool experience to date in a modern way because I will say that I think that dating apps and dating websites are gonna be the like future of dating. Soap and Glory one heck of a block primer. If you are wondering, whether or not you should get a Tinder or a Bumble. If you are a jealous person, I'm gonna take the Hangover RX. You do not need to get this app because you need to go into it knowing and understanding that both you and anyone else you talk to on there is not talking to only you. They're talking to other people, probably a bunch of other people, honestly, because that's just how those things go. Don't need to feel like you're the only one that they're going on a date with. Unless they tell you that they are. This Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. I'm in the shade Tan Honey. I'm gonna take my Eco Tools Blender. Honestly, from this, I've learned a lot about myself. That sounds probably cliche and cheesy, but it's the truth. If you don't learn more about yourself from new experiences, then you're doing them wrong, in my opinion. I was kind of thinking it might be cool to do like a comparison video and do like a Tinder versus Bumble type of thing. I wouldn't say my Tinder experience was stellar enough for me to want to do that and also other reasons. 
basically that's my thoughts on dating apps tinder specifically you have to have a thick skin to be on there you have to just be really laid back and not care so much and not take yourself so seriously. I just thought this would be like a more casual way to talk about this little like experience that I had. It was really, really consuming, especially for me. I know that I have a pretty obsessive personality just in a general sense. Once I decided that I was gonna do this like little project, that was like all I worked on. If I forget to mention something that I'm using, I'll have it all listed down below. I kind of wanted to break the stigma or whatever you want to call it of people thinking that everybody on Tinder was just gross. And I feel like I did. I met people that were clearly not. I'm going to zoom in and finish the lower lash line. some people on here uh, making videos and my best friend does this doesn't curl their lashes first y'all are very fortunate if I don't curl them it just looks like nothing I'm going to use this Wander Beauty unlashed mascara I actually really do like this I have to put on two coats at least for it to even look like anything it doesn't really bother me though because when I do put on two coats my lashes look pretty voluminous it's almost October and it still does not really feel like fall. It still feels like summer. I mean, it's like in the 70s. <laughs> That's just how it is here. I'm gonna take this Too Faced uh, Chocolate Soleil bronzer. I've been using like these big, this big fluffy brush for bronzer lately. I'm actually gonna take some of this Milani baked bronzer in the shade Soleil and dust this lightly all over this bronzer because it wasn't very dark. I'm gonna try to tap out off like all of the glitter so it's just like a bronzer topper just want to get a little glow since we look so matte i'm gonna take this wet and wild color icon blush in the shade apricot in the middle the only thing i don't like about these wet and wild products is like because it's so cheap the packaging is cheap and it just breaks blush is something that um i think it looks good but i don't like to go ham on blush some people like put blush all over their face that's not me at my friend's house the other day and her husband walked in and we had been drinking wine like literally one glass of wine is all i had had this is my milani stellar lights palette and i'm just gonna mix these two like i normally do and he looked at me and he was like okay i'm sorry <laughs> Did you do something different with your makeup? You're like really like pinky. I just laughed. I was like, no, that's the Asian glow. When Asian people drink, literally just like one drink, we get super red for some reason. It's not exclusive to Asian people, of course. Other people can get that way too. Mine is hardcore and I wasn't wearing any makeup, so I had no coverage. And I was like, it's the Asian glow, dude. Like I'm not wearing any makeup. And he was like, Oh, I just thought maybe you just like went hardcore on the blush. So funny that he would say that. I'm going to take the Milani Make It Last. I'm going to line my lips with the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil in Manic. When I wore this look yesterday, I wore Bestie from Tarte, which we all know is my favorite. But I wanted to mix it up for this video. I think I'm going to put this Kathleen Lights Times Color Pop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Moonchild on top of it just to see if I can tone it down a little bit. It doesn't look bad, but I think it takes away from the eyes just a little bit. I think that is gonna be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I especially wanna say thank you to my friends who always watch my videos and always like my videos and like comment. I really appreciate you guys supporting me even though you know all the stuff I'm about to say, you were there for my vlogs and you still watch it and I really, really, really appreciate the support. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed and I will see you in my next video. Bye.